Well, I have to say, I was deeply moved after seeing this film. It was incredibly emotional, and so I have to say, great job to you both, ladies. You. It was Thank so you. good. It was so good. I understand that, that you pushed Gabriella to direct this project. I don't think I had to push her very hard. I think I was just, I just, I read it and said, uh, push uh, me. Uh, right, exactly. Um, no, no, but so I read, when I read the script for the first time, um, there was no director attached, and so I, I just thought of Gabriella instantly. So, um, and luckily we have very similar taste, and she read it and felt the same things I did, so. There you but go. did you both know each other prior to this yes. project? Oh, so that's why yes. she, she was in. in oh yeah, your mind. I've 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 wanted to work with her since I saw Blackfish, and so it was it, yeah, it was a no brainer for me. And, and Gabriella, did you get a chance to um, talk to the real Megan Levy and um, hear her experience about PTSD? And what did you learn after hearing her story? Um, meeting her was was very important and very impactful for me because then I see that she's. She has this extraordinary story, and she's an extraordinary person, but she's a very accessible person. She could be you, she could be me. Mm -hmm. That was important for me to see, just like her humility, how she's just, you know, wants to hang, and she had just this big pint of beer. You know what I mean? I was like, <laughs> so this is like a, just a girl I can hang with. You know what girl I mean? Next door, right? That girl, like, exactly. Yeah. And and I guess for people to see that, and to see that this could be any, any one of us, this could be our daughters, this could be our best friends, mm -hmm. Um, was uh, was a great turning point for me because then I knew in telling the story if I can keep true to who she is at her core, then um, then we'll be we'll be on our way to being able to tell the truthful version of this. From New York. Yeah. Me too. My first time in country. What about him? Germany. <laughs> German Shepherd, I like that. What was the most challenging process for you during the training? Um, I mean, emotionally it was a challenging film to make, but I would say the thing that I was most uh, worried about, which I kind of was instantly um, set at ease when we started shooting, was how, how will I bond with this dog mm. and make this seem as real as possible. Um, he had never done anything like this before. He wasn't a trained mm -hmm. military dog. He'd never even wow. done a movie before, and he was quite young. Mm -hmm. So uh, I was nervous about that, and I was nervous because I felt like, well, what do I know? But the two of us were trained together, mm -hmm. and the bond came so naturally and effortlessly mm -hmm. um, and quickly. So as soon as that happened, I felt, you know, safe. Pretty sure they sell loofahs in the gift shop. Oh, actually, no, they bombed the gift shop. Oh, that's too bad. I like loofahs. I'm Matt Morales. I'll be your tour guide today. Megan Levy. Who's that? It's Chico. Chico Sid. I trained Chico to lick the enemy to death. <laughs> nice. And how often, like, do people in, in, the, in the military, like, do their relationship last? Let's say your character, you fall in love with Matt Morales. What's a percentage of military people date in the military and then maintain that lasting relationship? I have no idea, but I, what I liked about our version of you know the relationship between Megan and Morales was that it wasn't like a cliche. Mm -hmm. The girl Marine falls in love with the guy Marine, and then then like he breaks her heart, and then she's upset, <laughs> and the movie's right. ruined. Right. Like she right. she she, like, she was like, very much um, you know had realistic. feelings for this person, and but really she fell in love with the dog, and the right. dog the dog is the one that she chose in the end. Right. right. Well, and, and she also like she's a tough. Like what I loved about it too was that she's a tougher nut to crack than he is. Yes. Yes. She is more emotionally unavailable. Yes. Than Morales is, which I loved that from the get go. He's yeah. the one who's like trying this way and that way, and she's like, "I could take or leave you." Whether that's true, you know, whether that's genuinely that's Megan protecting herself, but still, it's just it's such a unique way of going about this story yeah. to have him be fighting a little harder yeah. for her and him be you know laying his heart out for her when she's just like, you know, I gotta I gotta get this right first. And so and get Rex with me first and get Rex with me I can first. Really you. It, that's yeah. exactly right. That was a, a special thing and unique thing about the, the script. We need one dog team for a road sweep and surrounding area check. Maybe dog up. 
I just don't know why you want to do this. Yeah, I know you don't. You don't really connect with people very well. Just so you know, running away isn't going to solve anything. Hang up that phone! Hey, Tuck your shirt in! Hey. Found something! Good boy. I've been watching this dog all year. He's the most aggressive dog I've ever treated. Does he really need another break? It's not like he hasn't earned it. You're getting a dog. You got this? Think faster. Yeah, I got this. You think I'm afraid of you? Lay down. Rex, lay down. Vehicle approaching. Guns up. Why'd you join? To get away from my life. We're shipping out tomorrow. We are so not ready for this. Clear. Levy, check the vehicle. Where's my dog? I need to see him. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, uh, you cannot come back to my house like some big war hero. Back off, Listen, Mom! You can't let your whole life fall apart over some dog. That dog saved my life. We walk through the fire. Please just change his classification so that I can adopt him when he gets back. They aren't pets. They're warriors. Can I just have a moment of your time? His name is Rex. He saved thousands of lives in Iraq. What did you say your name was? Corporal Megan Levy. All you gotta do is fight. And you know how to fight. You're a Marine. What would you say to Rex if he were here? I'd thank him for teaching me what love is. Is there a way I 